Wrong button. <laughs> Anyways, what is up YouTubers? Johnza here, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament Off-Season Tournament. And today, we have a special Halloween-themed uh, tournament. Uh, we went to the Halloween realm and grabbed some uh, competitors from that realm and, and said, Hey, you up for like a tournament or whatever? And they're like, you know what? Sure, why not? So they're here today, and they're going to show us their skills in the Halloween universe. So first up, we have Halloween Kirby going up against Halloween Joker. Alright, so let's see how this goes. I mean, we already know our own Kirby. He's pretty powerful on his own, but eh, Joker, our own Joker has not been pretty good. But we'll see what the Halloween ones can do. We'll see how they do. <coughs> And uh, just a minor note, this was made October 12th, and this is released around Halloween, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> just a little heads up on when uh, this is pretty much out, or even been made. Alright, so anyways, um, it's actually also the first tournament I've technically recorded since the final tournament, but, you know. Already, um, right now, Halloween Kirby is really kicking, uh... Halloween Joker's ass right now. As you can see, like, uh, with Halloween Kirby, he's all nice and orange, and then, I mean, you can kind of see that, uh, this Joker has a whiter skin, like a kind of different alternative version, almost. You know, it's like, it's a good, it's almost like a good costume, you know? So, you know, uh, we'll see how things go. Um, right now, well, Halloween Kirby was hiding behind some tall grass. He was almost like a Pokemon. And like that, Halloween Joker's now down a stock. Ooh, Halloween Kirby trying to get more to his costume. Or, yeah, well, trying to get a costume, I guess. He's just always like this. Ooh, trying that hammer again. But no to veil. <clears throat> Ooh, that tree saved Halloween Joker right there. Ooh, and knocking another duck off stage. Oh, and uh, Halloween Joker has got our send again. So, wait, do we just call this our send? Because even though it looks like regular our send, do we just call it like Halloween our send? Or... I don't know, I mean, we haven't really had a different alternative Joker around here before and ooh that was a nice play there by Halloween Joker right there right now Halloween Kirby technically has a whole stock advantage right now just because of the percentages and the amount of stocks right now ooh a nice parry by Halloween Joker oh this is this is yeah, this looks like it's Halloween Kirby's game right here. I'm sorry to say Halloween Joker. But it looks like, uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, and it looks like Halloween Kirby added on and has a costume now. He's, he's trying to be like Joker right now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, he's out here trying to find a costume and stuff. Halloween Joker at 60... Ooh, 65%. But here's the thing. Is Halloween Kirby got a 3 stock right now? I mean, it looks like it might be possible for Halloween Kirby to get a strong uh, start to this. Ooh, a nice hit by Halloween Joker. Ooh, and a nice save by Halloween Joker. I think at this point, I'd probably, if I were Halloween Joker, I'd at least get one stock off, or survive till time. Oh, and Halloween Kirby, three stocks, Halloween Joker. So, like uh, regular Joker, the apple doesn't far, fall from, far from the tree, and um, Halloween Joker has uh, lost this match. In a very humiliating way, too, at the start. Damn. Halloween Kirby is ferocious, it seems like. But anyways, congratulations, Halloween Kirby, for making it to the next round. <coughs> Granted, I'm also still sick. 
Granted, this is also not going to come out until Halloween. Anyways, next up, we have Halloween Mega Man facing off against Halloween Pikachu. <coughs> so you see them, like, with different outfits. You know, uh, the Halloween one has a orange suit, and, you know, there's Libra Pikachu. He, he has, like, a Libra costume he always wears. You know, it's all handy. Something I always like to wear. You know, this is this will be interesting to see. Because we've typically seen this kind of battle before with our own uh, Pikachu and our own Mega Man. And no matter what the match was, they were completely even. The entire time. Like in all their matches they've ever done against each other. They've been bringing it down right to the wire. All the way to sudden death. But let's see if one of these are stronger than the other this time. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so far it looks like Halloween Mega Man's game right now. <coughs> but I can already say these two are probably rivals as well. Just by the look of them. Ooh, and Halloween Kirby, or Halloween uh, Pikachu, sorry, has already lost its stock. But, you know, uh, Halloween Pikachu could come back from this. And don't worry, I won't play favorites. Don't worry. I mean, hell, I wasn't voted. I wasn't hoping for like the dark forces to win. So you know. Oh, and that's a stock loss for oh. Halloween Pikachu. I don't know what you were thinking there. Granted, this is also not the actual season old tournament. Does Halloween Kirby or Halloween Pikachu just not care about this round? Cause he kind of just SD'd right there. And now, Halloween Mega Man has a whole stock advantage right now. And the thing is, with this in-between rule set, a lot, a lot of things... I mean... There's like... Well, I was about to say, like, there's not a lot of rule sets that can... Make a comeback in this. And apparently you've seen that through Halloween Mega Man. This is the first time we've typically seen these two in action, and, uh, well, not these two exactly, but, like, a Mega Man and Pikachu in general, and one just overpowers the other one, really. But, you know, congratulations to, uh, Halloween Mega Man to making it to the next round, and I'm sorry, um, to Halloween Pikachu, but, you know, good try, good try all around. Anyways, moving on, we have Halloween, um... Well, we have Halloween Incineroar, sorry, trying to find my words, and then we typically have Builder Mario here, which, you know, this Mario always likes to have a costume on. He normally changes a lot some of the times. He can either, he normally likes to, like, probably for these tournaments, any Halloween tournament, he'll probably come in with, like, either, either his wedding gown or, you know, his, you know, but he normally likes to pick the costumes that he has. Like, you know, like, he's seen Odyssey, that, you know, those are all the costumes he normally picks. Ooh, and this is, um, I don't know what to say this kind of stage is for Incineroar. But we'll see how, uh, Halloween Mario and Halloween Incineroar play on the stage. But finally, uh, Halloween Mario actually getting a hit off. The thing is, Halloween Mario never dresses up as himself. He always mixes up his costumes. He might even look like himself, but he'll always put on a different outfit. Okay. Oh. Halloween Incineroar still looking good. And you can definitely tell from ha Halloween Incineroar the look, practically. Like, you know, it looks like he's got, like, hair dyed all around his body, you know, like a bit of uh, gray, a bit of yellow as well, you know. Pretty interesting. Oh, and that's a double SD from both sides. Wow. I gotta say, this is a stage that is not good for the both of them, honestly. And that's another SD for uh, Halloween Incineroar right there. Ooh. Who knows, Hall Halloween uh, Incineroar might still pull this off if he doesn't SD again, obviously. Ooh, nice good with the up, up B, up special. 
you know, Halloween Mario's still trying to pull this off. I mean, he's still ahead right now. I mean, if he could get Halloween Incineroar to SD one more time, that's just a good enough victory. But he still has a good lead what whatsoever, so I think he has a bit of confidence in him. I mean, look at the percentage, too. He even has a lead in percentage. Not only in stock, but in percentage, too. Yeah, one more big hit on uh, Halloween Incineroar, and that's game for him. <coughs> oh, the turnaround and forward smash. And like that, a two-stuck win for Halloween Mario. So far, we haven't really had a close game so far this Halloween tournament. But, you know, we'll see how things go for the rest. But congratulations to Halloween Mario for making it into the next round. I'm sorry to Halloween Incineroar. And there you have it. And now the last round, or the last match before the first round done, we have Halloween Sonic going up against Halloween Young Link. You know, interesting. Um, Sonic has a bit of, I guess, a lighter orangey color to his skin almost. You can kind of see it. Plus he has his red shoes and red, uh, or, or, or not red, orange shoes and um, uh, orange bracelets. And then, you, you know, uh, Halloween Young Link just has an orange costume on instead. And at least in their realm, they still have a Meta Knight, uh, Falcon, and Link as well. Ooh, that was close for uh, Halloween Sonic. He almost got knocked out. And we'll see who wins this match. Like I said, I won't play favorites just because this. Well, I mean, this ain't really like, you know, our own Sonic, obviously, but you know. At least I won't feel too bad if he loses. I mean, we've seen both uh, regular Sonic and Dark Sonic doing excellent some of the past tournaments in Season 3, so we'll see how. Uh, even the one last off-season tournament, we Sonic pretty much won that one. So we'll see how uh, Halloween Sonic does in this one. Mm. Any big hit, and that could be it for one of those two. At least for their first stock. Oh, and that was a nice hit! Oh! Halloween Sonic was already screwed, but... The disrespect on Yu or Halloween Young Link. Ooh. Can Halloween Sonic make a comeback here? I don't know. It's really hard to get comebacks in this rule set, honestly. Because there's not a lot of. Oh, and the tech by Halloween Young Link. That was really handy for him. And the tech again! Yo, he's a master of techs right now. Oh my god, he keeps teching! Well, he couldn't tech that. But, you know, the amazing techs that Halloween Young Link is just presenting right now. I mean, he has a good lead right now, but we'll see what happens. Oh, a nice parry by uh, Halloween Sonic right there. Ooh. Oh, I wouldn't touch that bomb. <laughs> I was kind of concerned when uh, Halloween Sonic touched the bomb right there. And I think his only hope is to survive for like another minute and then also knock out another stock from uh, Halloween Young Link and then make it a sudden death. Damn. I mean, it might happen with the amount of time that's left. Ooh, well, that was an interesting move. Oh no, the footstool! 
Oh, and I thought that was it for Halloween Sonic right there. Well, Halloween Sonic might want to end this quickly. Get that one last stock out quickly. He only has like 25 seconds left. Oh, oh, that was bad luck right there. Oh, did he walk by a black cat or what? Oh, but he still made the stock happen. Alright, so we're going to sudden death. For once, we have a close match. <laughs> Halloween Sonic was just standing there. Alright, he doesn't use this to his advantage. Ooh. And he does! Oh, man. He used sudden death to his advantage and won the match. Man, good job to Halloween Sonic. The Sonics are just really good at this. Even making it a close match. I mean, not to say that... I mean, if there wasn't time, I think... I'm thinking Halloween Young Link might have taken that as well. So, you know, why do you have a blue one? You should have an orange one. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, congratulations to Halloween Sonic for moving on. With that, we have our first round done. Or as we like to call it, round two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have our next match of Halloween Kirby going up against Halloween Mega Man. So we'll see how this works. We'll see who's the strongest Halloween character in this uh, match right now. Alrighty. I mean, last match, Halloween Kirby didn't lose a stock, even though he was close to, but we'll see. Oh, and he has that blue Mega Man outfit right now. See, he always likes to have a costume on. You know, obviously he always likes to suck up his friends so he can uh, have, co have a costume. That sounded weird, didn't it? Alright, also, with this stage, it really is hard to... Oh, well, there goes uh, Howlin' Kirby's costume. But it is hard to... knock out an opponent in this stage, I guess I'd like to say. Ooh, and now they're both even. Ooh, and that tech! That tech from uh, Halloween Mega Man. Ooh, not yet. Ooh, that could help. Oh, and it did! Even when it, he was in his rock form. Ooh. Only Mega Man might actually have a good stage advantage here. And the tech again! Jeez. There's too much teching going on. I can't follow up with the techs. Uh-oh. Well, that bomb backfired on the Halloween Mega Man. Ooh, the tech didn't help him there. Now they're both even. Both really strong opponents right now. Oh, damn. Where'd this power come from, from Halloween Mega Man? I mean, I'm pretty sure Halloween Kirby was doing most of the damage at the start, and then... Now... Well, I mean, now he's doing some work, but, you know. And the tech again! There's too much teching going on in this tournament. Oh, but that was a good tech there by uh, Halloween Kirby. Oh, he couldn't shield long enough. Another big hit from one of those two, and uh, that's another stock loss. Oh, no. He did it to him again with the tornadoes. That is a nasty way to get a stock. That is just nasty. Especially on a stage like this, where pretty much the only way you can go out is up. Unless you destroy the walls right there. Halloween's Kirby's only hope is to survive another minute and knock out another stock from uh, Halloween Mega Man right now.
Oh, and another attack. Oh, no. Wow, okay. Um, how many Mega Man just two stocks like that? What, what was even his percent? I thought Halloween Kirby was still low. Well, congratulations to Halloween Mega Man for winning that match. I'm sorry to Halloween Kirby, my little Halloween boy. Well, you know, it's nothing too major, so, you know. Anyways, we have a, I guess, a rivalry going on here. We have Halloween Mario going up against Halloween Sonic. And with Mario and and Sonic at the Olympic 2020 games coming up. I think this is a good time for their rivalry to start again. Even though this is the Halloween versions, but I guess they have their own Halloween Olympics going on as well, so you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll see who wins. I mean, last time we saw Mario versus Sonic, our own Sonic defeated Mario, so we'll see how let's see if anything's different through the different wor world. I mean, as we can tell, that, uh, if, if, like, Halloween Kirby can three-stock Halloween Joker and then lose to Halloween Mega Man by two stocks, I mean, he's got to be powerful, man. I'll see how this one goes. And I don't really see a lot of SD happening in this uh, match, so we'll see what happens. Oh! I don't know what Halloween Sonic was doing following the bug. That cost him a stock, though. Ooh, and I thought that back throw might have actually killed, but nope. Not yet. Halloween Mario's not giving in yet. He's giving in all he has. And they both have to. They're both rivals. Damn. Ooh. So far, not really looking good for, uh... Halloween Sonic. Uh oh. Oh, they almost got hit by the bug again. Oh, and the tech. I think there was a tech there by Halloween Mario right there. Oh my goodness. Well, that was not good for uh, Halloween Mario, but he still has a good lead right now, unfortunately. Well, pretty good right now. I guess I shouldn't really say unfortunately. It's not our own Sonic, so it's not too bad, but still, I always hate seeing my characters lose, even if they're not even from this world. Even if they're like a different versions of the, in another parallel, parallel universe. Because, you know, it's Sonic, and I, w I don't want him to win, because he's technically the only one of my characters still left in this. Only Sonic might still pull this off. Oh, but I think the bug's coming back. Oh, well, not not all the way apparently. Well, the bridge is gone. So, ooh, trying to do that forward air and that back air and the up air. There's a lot of airs going on. And then the side B, double side B, and a down B. Or no, actually, that's his down aerial. Never mind. Ooh. Anything could happen now. Oh! I mean, Sonic, better think fast. He only has 30 seconds to get another stock off for sudden death. Oh, and that was a nice parry. He's not letting Halloween Sonic touch him right now. Oh, damn! Well, now we only have a couple seconds left. Let me see. Sonic actually might still lose this right here. 
Just guess the percentage. Alrighty, I guess it's whoever lands the first blow first. Oh, I thought Halloween Sonic had that for a second, but no, it was Halloween Mario that took it at the end. Damn it. <laughs> well, Halloween Mario made it through the next round, or to the final round, really, so congratulations, and I'm sorry to Halloween Sonic for not making that win. You bring shame to a bunch of Sonics right now because they were having a great winning streak, and then you had to come in and ruin that streak. But anyways, now that all my boys are gone, the Halloween boys, we have just a regular Halloween fight with uh, Halloween Mega Man versus Halloween um, Mario. Alrighty. Let the match begin. And they both practically have the same pose, too. Look at that. First time I actually really noticed in that. Probably well, because I've never actually seen these two actually face off against each other before. Even our own Mario and Mega Man. Oh my god. I don't think Mega Man is just... <clears throat> He's just telling Halloween Mario, it's like, you know what, I'm not going to play no games. I mean, you see that on the stage, you can either die quickly or you can die for a very long time. Or stay alive for a long time. It's either one of the two. And it's, oh, well, I thought Halloween Mega Man was trapped, but... Now, Halloween Ma Mario might be able to still pull this off, actually. I mean, maybe. Oh, that crab might determine. Oh. Oh, and there goes the crab. <coughs> Cabby cab, cab, cab. Oh, nice parry from the crab. Wasn't enough, though. Stop getting hit by Mr. Krabs. I, 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 I. Oh, there's a pink crab. I, 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 I. Money, 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 money. Oh, oh, I think the text probably saved him right there. That poor pow block. Oh, and the text saved Halloween Mario yet again. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, I mean, he broke free, I guess. I mean, look at these guys. Oh, unfortunately, there was no teching right there. Now they're both tied with stocks, but um, if anything, I think Halloween Mario might be close to death himself. I, mean, I don't know, with two minutes left, we'll see what happens. <coughs> I mean, with a bunch of turtles and crabs going on. It's weird that they have Koopas and Krabs instead of Koopas and Goombas. Just like for this specific game entirely. Ooh. Howie Mario's now down to one stock. Ooh. And still, who knows? Halloween Mario still might be able to pull something off. I mean, we could definitely tell that uh, Halloween Mega Man is strong. I mean, after his la last match with Halloween Kirby, who was dominating Halloween Joker, I can definitely tell. <coughs> oh, almost when he got back in his shell. Ooh, someone can die right here. Both pretty close to that edge. Ooh. It's actually it's actually gotten even surprisingly. Now I mean, Mario is able to kind of make a comeback right now. I say kind of, but he's still kind of losing. Uh oh, and that's it. Oh, but the tech, the tech saved him. It looked like it was over, but it wasn't. 26 seconds left. Oh, he caught it too. Oh. Oh. 
And Halloween Mario takes the victory. Oh, man. So, if someone who three-stocked a character, to someone who beat that three-stocked character, to someone who beat that person that beat that three-stocked character, how powerful is Halloween Mario? My god. I mean, after winning this tournament, geez. So congratulations for Halloween Mario to making it through and winning the uh, Halloween tournament. So congratulations to Halloween Mario. You did pretty well in this tournament. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you and some of your other Halloween friends again next year. Because, you know, why not? But anyways, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Or, you know, this tournament. So, anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. I guess the original wants to fight the Halloween one. It looks like we have a Thug Finals again. We have original Mario going up against Halloween Mario right now here in Final Destination. Okay. I see. Mario is Mario... Our old Mario is just sitting here watching this tournament. He's like, you know, I haven't won a lot of tournaments. And then this guy is just showing up and he's KOing all these characters left from right. I'm going to show him one four. And right now, it looks like Mario is actually doing a pretty good job right now. Well, let's see who will win. Our own Mario. Or will it be Halloween Mario? I mean, right now, it looks like Halloween Mario, or our own Mario is doing pretty well. But still... Only Mario did make that comeback. Ooh. I mean, he's making a comeback right now, honestly. Ooh, a double fireball. Mario sending back the fireball and then doing the back throw. Ooh. They're both playing dangerously near that ledge. Ooh. Any one of them could die at any moment. Oh, if only that was a little further away. And, oh, and our own Mario has lost a stock. Mm. 169. Even Halloween Mario knows how to make the memes. Oh, well, the meme's gone. And Halloween Mario's now done at two stocks as well. They're both giving it a good amount of effort. Granted, they both have the same skills, so they definitely know how to face against themselves. I mean, they might be from a different world, but they're both still Mario. Mario's giving it all he has right now. Oh, the footstool on Halloween Mario right there. Yeah, right now it's not looking good for our own Mario right now. It was at the start, but... I think he got overconfident. Oh, and that's a stock loss for Mario right there. Also, for Thug Finals, yeah, we don't have time. It's just three stocks. And it's always Final Destination, by the way. Oh, do the funny aerial. You always seem to do that, Mario, and... They both of you seem to do that a lot. I don't know why. So no sudden death to help them this time. Oh! And it's Halloween Mario that does the funny aerial. I mean, our own Mario's got to think fast right now. I mean, really, he is just getting shined out right now. I mean, losing to Halloween Mario 
after seeing him win against Halloween Sonic, even though he hasn't even won against our own Sonic? I mean, come on, Mario. You're making our world look like a joke. Ooh, Halloween Mario tried to do that funny aerial. Ooh, and our own Mario tried to do the funny aerial. One sixty four. How many Mario can live for a very long time? Ooh. Come on, Mario. Oh dang, he just stands in mid place. He must know those haunting tricks with ghosts. Oh I think this is the first time we've well actually no, we they both have been in one stock okay, never mind. I was about to say, this might be the first time we've seen uh, Halloween Mario going to one stock, but can Mario still pull this off? I mean, with one hit left for him to take, I don't know. One more hit on regular Mario and that's it for him. He needs to take out uh, Halloween Mario quickly before that happens. Oh, now you can tell, Mario's being very careful. Oh! And with that, Halloween Mario showing our world that they're powerful. And with that, yeah. Uh, Halloween wins. And we're all gonna be haunted forever. So, yeah, thanks Mario. Thanks for ruining our lives.